For centuries, humanity gazed at the night sky believing we understood it, believing we were inching closer to answers. We mapped constellations like ancient sailors charting oceans. We calculated orbital motions, measured starlight, and counted galaxies like beads on a cosmic strain. Every discovery pushed our confidence forward. Every breakthrough made us feel as though we were finally beginning to comprehend our place in the vastness. But history has a pattern. Every time we thought we understood the universe, the universe answered with a louder, stranger truth. And now, the James Webb Space Telescope has delivered one of the most staggering truths of all. With a single breathtaking image, stretching across 13.5 billion years into the past, Webb has forced scientists to reconsider everything. What we believed about time. About creation. About scale. The universe, it turns out, is not just bigger than we imagined, it's older, deeper, more structured, and far more alive than any human theory dared to propose. This isn't just a discovery. It's a cosmic confrontation. A moment where our understanding bends under something too enormous to deny. Before Webb existed, we treated the Hubble ultra-deep field as the crown jewel of astronomy. A tiny black patch of sky, no bigger than a grain of sand held at arm's length, observed for days. When the image returned, it shocked the world, nearly 10,000 galaxies crammed into a speck of darkness. Not stars. Galaxies. Each one containing billions of suns. That revelation changed everything. It made us believe the observable universe might hold two trillion galaxies. For two decades, Hubble defined our cosmic horizon. But Hubble had limitations. It could not see the oldest starlight, stretched beyond visible wavelengths by the swelling universe. It could not peer into the deep infrared where the earliest galaxies hide like ghosts in the fog of creation. Webb was built for that purpose, to see what no human eye could ever see. And when its golden mirror finally unfolded in space, the universe opened like a locked door. Hubble showed us a window. Webb revealed the landscape beyond it. One of Webb's most ambitious projects, Cosmos Webb, stared into a region three times the size of the full moon for more than 250 hours. Thousands of exposures stitched into a single cosmic portrait. The result? The most detailed map of the universe ever created. Within that one image lie 780,000 galaxies, cosmic islands scattered across time itself. Some are ancient and chaotic, newborn clusters just a few hundred million years after the Big Bang. Others are mature spirals like our own Milky Way, already settled, structured, magnificent. Imagine printing Hubble's deep field on a piece of paper. At that same scale, Webb's map would cover a 13-foot mural, a wall of galaxies from floor to ceiling. Every dot a galaxy. Every galaxy billions of stars. And around many of those stars, worlds. Oceans, atmospheres, storms, rocks, possibilities. A universe that suddenly feels impossibly crowded. But the most unsettling revelation isn't the number of galaxies. It's their maturity. According to our models, early galaxies were supposed to be small, faint, messy. Instead, Webb found well-formed spirals and heavy elements like carbon and nitrogen, elements forged in dying stars. Which means stars had already lived and died, again and again, faster than our physics allows. Entire stellar generations passed in a cosmic instant. These galaxies should not be there. Not so early. Not so developed. Their existence cracks our timeline. It suggests either the universe formed far faster than we think, or the universe is older than we believe, or time itself is not what we assume Webb didn't just capture light. It captured a contradiction a direct challenge to the foundations of cosmology. 
As scientists studied the image deeper, new mysteries emerged. Galaxies weren't scattered like coins tossed into darkness. They traced threads, aligned in patterns across unimaginable distances. Invisible filaments of dark matter and gas weaving galaxies like pearls on strain. These structures form the cosmic web, the skeleton of the universe. Some filaments stretch billions of light years long. So immense that even light, the fastest traveler we know, would take ages to cross them. And yet Webb found them shockingly early after the Big Bang. Too early. Too orderly. Too perfect. It suggests the universe didn't slowly settle into structure, it was born with structure already imprinted. As if the cosmos had a blueprint. A design. A set of laws we have not yet decoded. This forces scientists to rethink what the Big Bang was. Maybe not a singular beginning, but a transition. A phase change. A cycle in an endless cosmic loop. Some researchers now whisper cautiously about a universe that expands and collapses over and over, with no true beginning, no final end. Others wonder if time might be layered, if events we think are early may not be early at all. Webb has pushed us toward a terrifying, beautiful possibility. The universe may not have an edge. It might not have a beginning. It might simply be. For decades, we believed the observable universe, a bubble 93 billion light years wide, was the boundary of what we could ever know. But Webb's discoveries feel like looking through a keyhole, only to realize the room beyond is endless. If galaxies are this developed so soon, who's to say there aren't more beyond more, endlessly repeating beyond the visible horizon? If the universe is infinite, then every possibility exists somewhere. Worlds like Earth. Worlds unlike anything imaginable. Civilizations ancient beyond reckoning. And here we are, a flicker of consciousness on a pale blue dot, daring to look into forever. Never have we felt so small. But never have we felt so extraordinary. Because despite our size, despite our fragility, we built a machine capable of touching time. A machine that sees the universe the way it looked nearly 14 billion years ago. A machine that has already rewritten textbooks and will continue to challenge everything we know. Webb's journey has only begun. Thousands of galaxies remain unstudied. Billions more wait beyond reach. Every image Webb returns is another question, another mystery, another tremor beneath the foundation of science. Somewhere inside its data may lie proof of alien life. Evidence of cosmic cycles. Clues about dark matter, dark energy, or the true shape of time. The universe is not just vast. It is impossible, and yet real. Beautiful, and terrifying. Cold, yet full of fire. And Webb stands like a lighthouse at the edge of eternity, catching glimpses of whatever lies beyond. So if you want to witness every revelation, every hidden galaxy, every theory shattered and rebuilt, subscribe, like, and keep watching. Because the next image from Webb may not only expand our understanding of the universe, it may redefine reality itself.